Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beba and I'm so happy to have you guys here today. So for today's video, I thought it would be super fun to create a Valentine's Day outfit guide or lookbook. I just ran through my closet just to pick up pieces that I thought would be perfect for any Valentine's Day activity that you do. Lounging on the couch, Valentine's brunch, or even a nice dinner, or just going shopping at the mall. So for today's first outfit I'm currently wearing, I am wearing these wide-legged white pants with this gorgeous silky pink top that I got from Princess Polly. I love how it ties in the front with these really big sleeves. It gives it almost like a Romeo Juliet vibe, very romantic, renaissance -y kind of vibes and I love that completely because it just makes me feel like I'm a romantic heroine in a novel. And so I just love the way that makes me feel, especially for Valentine's Day. It's the most appropriate time of the year to feel like that. The shoes that I would pair with this are wedges with some studs on them or classic trendy red heels. I like to think that those red heels are the perfect palette scheme for this outfit. And also the way I like to make sure that the color of the shoes matches the outfit is by a variety of ways. So in this particular example, I'm not wearing anything red on me, but the red heel would be perfect because the red shoe would be on my foot and I'm wearing a white pant. Red plus white equals pink, which is the top. And it is a perfect layout and scheme of colors. So it gives it the perfect like look, especially because you'll be wearing all of the colors during Valentine's Day. Now the next outfit I would wear if I was gonna go to a cute bar, brunch date, and it was a little chilly out, I would definitely wear these pink white laid pants that I also got from Target. They're the exact same ones as the white, just in pink. With this cute flirty top, it has the lace detail, it's thin, gives it like almost like a lingerie vibe. But I would pair it with this super cute leather jacket. I love it, it's vegan leather, it keeps the wind and cold away from me, it keeps me very warm and I love it. I would also pair this outfit with the red high heels that I showed you earlier. I just feel like it really gives the Valentine's Day moment, adding another Valentine's Day color besides the pink because we're having so much black going on, it'd be great to add some red. But if it's also, like, if you don't want to wear it like this, you can always just take it off once you get to the restaurant or to wherever you're going. And then you would have this gorgeous, like, you know, showing some shoulder and all this cute stuff. And so this would be another outfit I would wear. It's very comfortable and I love it. Now, I think this outfit would be the perfect outfit for a picnic, a nice sunset dinner by water, anything outside, only because Flowy tops like this with like a little puff sleeve, white and airy, just remind me of the outdoors. So I think this would be the perfect outfit for something like that. So I might wear some Air Force Ones with this outfit or maybe some cute studded sandals. I think that would be perfect as well with this cute hair detail I did with gold um, bobby pins. I think this is a cute way to style your hair and have it back and so it won't flow in the wind. You could also do the exact same thing on the other side but I just wanted to keep a half up, half down look to give it a more romantic, cute look. You can also rearrange the bobby pins to be in a heart or anything like that. So this is the outfit. It's the same pink pants as before. These are really big on me and um, so they are a little bit more looser than they should be. They could probably fit right here. But just to show you guys, like you can use the same pants for many different types of outfits to give different feels and looks to what you want to wear it for. This is what I would wear and I think it is super cute, charming, gorgeous, and a nice Valentine's Day outfit for really any occasion. Maybe it's a little bit colder where you live and you guys are gonna be going to do something outside or you just wanna be very warm throughout the entire event. You can put on a cute fuzzy sweater. Any fuzzy sweater would work. Um, I would wear a white, pink, or red sweater only because those are the colors of Valentine's. And I would actually do a half tuck inside of the bra. So half of it is inside and the other half is out. It gives a very cute, chic, loungy look. I would also style my hair half up, half down like I am right now. It gives it a very playful, more like cutesy vibe rather than anything serious because a fuzzy sweater in my opinion is very cutesy. Um, you could make this obviously way more chic with leather pants and etc. But I'm trying to go for a very 
Valentine's Day look and this is exactly what I would wear if I was going to be with the parents or some other dinner for Valentine's with like multiple people. I would wear this to there and I think it is a super cute um, way to style this. I would wear this outfit with white booties, white ankle booties and maybe a red purse. If you're really not into wearing the Valentine colors of red, pink, or white, and you want to stick to something more sexy or whatever, I recommend anything black or with cheetah print. I think cheetah print, I know some people might say it's tacky, but I think it's also kind of like a sexy print that is coming back in style and in trend. So a cute little um, cheetah mini skirt with a nice um, black long sleeve bodysuit that has a gorgeous neckline is a perfect combination for a Valentine's Day dinner or out for drinks. I would pair this with um, red high heels, white boots, or black boots, or even my Air Force Ones. It just really depends what you're going to be doing. But I think this is super cute and it would be perfect with the leather jacket. I would also style my hair in some way that is so like Mm, like a slick back style, just, oh, it brings it. So how I had my hair last time was a half up ponytail, and I just did another ponytail. So I have two ponytails in my hair right now, I'll show you. It's not the best, so don't judge, but here's how my hair came out. I don't know if you can see, but this is how I would have my hair. I think it's super cute, and if you want to throw in a couple of bobby pins on the side for a little spadazz, it would be super cute, and I think that would be awesome. So here is my last outfit. I just have a Valentine's themed sweater with this bamboo silk skirt that wrinkles in a matter of seconds. If anyone has any tips on how to keep this unwrinkled, it's from Zara. And if anyone else has it, let me know because I carry the downy um, wrinkler stopper spray with me and I spray this so often but it still gets wrinkled. So I just gave up and I still wear it because it's super cute and flowy. But um, any tennis skirt would work as well or just something comfortable like a white skirt. But this is meant for like an outfit lounging around the house or going to do a movie night with the boo or just go to a park and you want to be comfortable, this is the perfect outfit and I would definitely pair these with my Air Force Ones or any white sneakers that you would have. I'd also like to spice this outfit up with a cool, with a, oh, with a cool hairstyle. So I just did some cool bubble braids or I attempted bubble braids. So here's how the bubble braids look like. I think it is a super cute hairstyle and perfect for this outfit. If you guys liked any of these outfits, please give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. All of that supports my channel and growth, especially with the YouTube algorithm. So again, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and put your post notifications on. If you have any questions or want further details in any of the outfits, all the links that I will try to find are down below or I'll find something similar. And if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments down below. If you would like to see a hairstyle tutorial, let me know as well, I'm happy to do one. Cause I think all these hairstyles I did today were super cute and I just did them on a whim. And I feel like they're so easy that, any they're so easy that anyone else can too. So again, like I said, give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more content from me. All right, bye guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Love you.